Welcome Libras. I'm back y'all with another video. So this is going to be for July the 1st to the 15th. If you're a newbie here, welcome, welcome. Go ahead and click the bell to subscribe. You aren't going to want to miss out on future videos. All right, so let's see what messages we got for Libra. This is a love reading. All right, so take what resonates and leave what does not resonate with you. Don't try to make it fit. Give me a message for Libras. All right. I'm starting to understand our connection. Somebody wants to be more than friends with you. All right. Somebody wants to be more than friends. Somebody here is starting to understand the connection a little bit more. And they want more out of the connection. This could be you or the person that you're dealing with. All right. But somebody here wants more. Somebody here wants more. All right. So let's talk about it. Give me a message for Libra, please. Concerning this person who wants more. All right, tell me more about this person that Libras are dealing with. It could be a fire sign, Leo, Sagittarius, Aries. But this person could have a lot of passion for you. We got the Hermit. Could be a Virgo. Tell me about this connection. We got the full. We got Aries. All right. We got the Eight of Cups here at the bottom of the deck. And the Ten of Swords. Oh, okay. So somebody walked away from a connection. Um, something that they felt stuck in. Somebody finally decided to walk away. There was a lot of back and forth. Somebody was very kind of like immature energy. All right. So... Let's see. We got the fool here as your energy. So this could be you. You could have walked away from a connection. Um, oh. Well, these just wanted to come out. Wow. <laughs> Justice, which is you guys' energy, and the Knight of Swords. Yeah. So maybe you feel like, hold on, like we're moving too fast. Okay. Like we jumped into this too fast. Um, yeah, Ten of Cups, a relationship. Okay, so somebody wants to jump in a relationship like now. <laughs> we got the High Priestess. We got Three of Cups. Got the Ace of Wands. New beginnings for sure. King of Swords. This could be a Leo, a Libra, Gemini, and Aquarius that you're dealing with. Queen of Pentacles, Virgo, Taurus, Capricorn. And the outcome is Six of Pentacles. I'm getting like somebody definitely wants to rush and jump into a connection here. This could be you. This could be both of you guys. Both of y'all could be on the same page. Why is the fool here? The three of cups, yeah. Somebody really, really wants this connection. For sure. But I'm getting somebody walked away. Somebody moved on from something a horrible situation like it was kind of bad somebody is letting go of some type of baggage or had to let go of some type of baggage in order to have this connection with you yeah somebody has some damn secrets here the seven of swords in the moon yeah somebody's a liar cheat somebody has some secrets okay but let's see tell me more about this three of cups the fool wow there is a new beginning for sure, for sure. I feel like you or this person that you're dealing with is it really financially stable. Somebody is extremely financially stable here. Tell me more about the fool. The Knight of Pentacles. Okay, maybe this person moves a little slow. Um, maybe you, I feel like you could be moving slow and this person is moving fast. Okay, you're coming off as the empress. Could be the empress or the emperor. Okay, you're very, um, you know, you know your self-worth. 
someone here could be a married man or married married someone could be married here why is the knight of pentacles here and the knight of cups okay there's the offer here i feel like this person is bringing you an offer why is justice here yeah the hangman could be a pisces somebody for sure for sure maybe there is a secret maybe this connection was kind of like supposed to be on the low because i'm getting the high priestess and the moon lots of secrets here why's the moon here the eight of wands And the sun could be a Leo involved. But maybe you feel like if you move too fast, okay? Because the Eight of Wands is here. That is quick movement. Maybe you feel like if you move too fast, you're going to regret. You're going to have regrets, okay? You're going to regret the decision. There's that Ace of Wands again. And the Hermit. So somebody's looking for... Maybe you feel like, you know, maybe this person... Or uh, maybe you're looking for something new. Um, but this person is for sure, for sure. Somebody's coming at somebody really fast. Why is the high priestess here? The devil. Could be done with the Capricorn. Yeah. Like this person, it's, it's kind of like, yeah, look at this. You cut this person off in the past. Ten of Swords and the King of Pentacles. There was some type of ending to um, a relationship. Could be a wife. Somebody could possibly cut off a wife or a long-term girlfriend, a boyfriend here. Um, could have been for you, okay? Maybe they were um, having financial issues. Something was a burden. And they come to you telling you their issues that they had in their marriage. But I'm getting someone could be a married man or somebody's married. That's not for everybody. But for some, there somebody is married here. But they, they're disappointed. They aren't satisfied in their connection. Yeah. They no longer are in love with that person anymore. And see, this is, I feel like a marriage or something has def definitely a long-term relationship or somebody who's been with somebody for a long time came down. The tower hit, okay? So, now this person wants a connection here with you. They're coming at you really, really fast. Why is the three of cups there? The high priestess and the chariot could be a cancer. But your intuition was telling you that it was coming. And see, this is you saying like, I don't want no married men. I don't want uh, nothing serious right now. I feel like <laughs> mine's the ace of wands here. Ooh, there's somebody starting an argument. A disagreement. Yeah, somebody's apologizing. Somebody here is apologizing. Ooh, what a page of cups. Maybe this person comes to apologize to you. King of Pentacles, Virgo, Taurus, Capricorn. Somebody here is apologizing um, for breaking somebody's heart or something happened here. Three of Swords. Let's see what this person is over here thinking about. They feel like they can be the man or, or woman in your life. But you keep walking away. You keep deciding to walk away. Why is the Queen of Pentacles here? Eight of Swords. And the Queen of Pentacles again. You're, you have your money on your mind. Your focus is on stability. Um, maybe, I feel like some of you... Either this person, I feel like you keep like um, walking away from this connection. Maybe you feel like this person is being too forward or this person still has something going on that you don't really, that they're trying to drag you into. Why is the Six of Pentacles here? Yeah, the Wheel of Fortune. Okay, Ten of Swords and the Seven of Wands. Yeah, it's like you're not you you don't want to go back and forth with this person. You rather just leave the situation. For some of you, this is a baby father. For some of you, got the emperor here, it could be an Aries, or this is like a male, a, a dominant male in your life. Somebody also could have control issues. And the seven, the seven of swords. 
I feel like some of you are going to end up giving this a chance. <laughs> you're going to take a chance. I feel like you're juggling it, though. It's like you're going back and forth. It's like you're weighing out the good and the bad in the situation and deciding on whether or not to give the situation a chance. I feel like some of you are going to give this situation a second chance, okay? I feel like some of y'all are going to give this a second chance. Um, yeah, I feel like you want to see where it goes. I feel like you enjoy the attention that this person gives you. Like, this person showers you with attention. And I feel like you enjoy that. But I still feel like you're still going to be... I'm sorry, this card is really bent up, guys. But I feel like you're really going to be just kind of, like, watching out. Like, looking for more evidence. Looking for more tea. Um, there's a connection here. I feel like the, there's someone could possibly be on the side that you're trying to dig up information to see if, like, is that connection over with? Um, I do see that there has been a breakup or there possibly could be a breakup. But I'm, I'm just sensing, like, this person could have a lot of options, okay? So you're kind of, like, wanting the eyes with this situation because you may feel like, you know, I don't really want to, I'm not trying to be nobody option, okay? I'm not trying to be nobody option. For sure. So some of you could definitely be dealing with someone who is already in a situation but is coming towards you and wanting you at the same time. So like this person is coming you begging for for sure. Like telling you like what they want with you. All right. So Let me see what they want to say to you. What do they want to say to Libra? I'm at a crossroads. I'm choosing which path to take. Then we got, I don't know what to say to you. And I am listening to my guides. Okay, so this person is definitely at a crossroads. They don't know exactly what it is that they want. They just know that they want to date you. That they want to be around you. Stop pushing me. I need to make my own choices. My own choices. They do want to make this work. And we got, I know that you are the one I want to spend my life with. Okay, so this person does want you, but they're at a crossroad. I feel like they have another situation going on um, behind the scenes. Maybe you know about this, maybe you don't. What advice do we have for my Libras? Woo! All right, so we got no... We got a no here. Spirit is saying wait. We also got the situation will improve. Yeah. And then we got recovery. Okay, so someone's trying to heal from a situation. We got wait. Forgiveness. Choose a new direction. And we got listen to your intuition and compromise. Okay, so I do feel like... Then we got unlikely. See, this situation is kind of like... Uh, it's on the rocks. Like, it's... I feel like this situation it could go either way. It could be good or it could go bad. And it's uh, that's the uncertainty of the situation that I don't really care for. But we got a no. And then we got forgiveness. I want to clarify no. 
You got the hermit. Some of you are dealing with the Virgo. But you could find out that this person is a liar. That this person um, wants you to take a chance. Possibly could be a water sign of Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio. Um, could be They could be dealing with the fire sign, Leo, Sagittarius, Aries. They could be wanting you to stay single um, and wait for them. And the answer is no. Like, no. Don't do that. Spirit is saying don't wait for this person. We got forgiveness. This person could come to you um, asking you for some type of forgiveness. Could be a cancer and the moon. Yeah, because you're going to, a secret is going to come out. There's going to be some type of secret that comes out. We got the king of pentacles, Virgo, Taurus, Capricorn. This person is going to come to you with an apology because they messed up. Okay. Choose a new direction. The strength card. A Leo here. Okay, you can be dealing with the Leo. This is you guys' energy here with the Justice and the Queen of Swords. Could be an Aquarius as well, too. Somebody wants, like, to feel, like, be put on a pedestal. Somebody wants to be put above everyone else. Somebody wants to be shown off here. Um, why is the Strength card here? Yeah, the Knight of Cups. Someone is waiting on some type of offer. Oh, we got the hangman in reverse. Okay, so someone's no longer waiting. Someone is no longer waiting for um, someone to put them on a pedestal. Yeah. See, somebody here is turning their back and they're choosing themselves. Um, and this is why Choose a New Direction is here. There's two people here. There's, I keep getting two people. Um, and there is definitely like lies and manipulation going on here for sure the situation will improve we got the ace of swords so some type of truth is coming out could be involved in the capricorn here not the ace of swords the death and the five of wands yeah some type of conflict needs to come to an end um but first the truth needs to come out okay we got weight well that just flew <laughs> We got the Eight of Pentacles. Eight of Pentacles and the Two of Pentacles here and the Judgment. Spirit is saying wait to make a final decision about something. Okay, because I just feel like maybe you're putting in more than this other person. We got the world. We got the world. Spirit is saying close this chapter. Cut this person off. Could be a Libra, Gemini, Aquarius. I'm telling you, this decision is like, wait, there's something that this person may want from you or is trying to get you to do. And Spirit is saying, right now, it's just unlikely that the results are going to go in your favor. Now, we got to listen to your intuition. Ten of Cups and the Magician and the Page of Cups. Yeah, see, somebody is saying they didn't think that you knew that somebody has a wife or somebody has a husband there is definitely for a lot of you there's a marriage here and maybe you didn't know or maybe you did know or something to that nature but there's just I, I just feel like this empress could be you this is Taurus and Libra's energy and two cups I feel like somebody who's in a relationship possibly with um, someone who's married and um, is trying to get out but they're, they're feeling stuck they add a fork in the room. And somebody wants is going to want to compromise. Yep. They're going to they're going to try to compromise with you. Because they broke your heart. They put you in a third party situation and maybe they're going to say that they're going to leave. We got the 8 of cups. We got the five of pentacles. They're going to abandon what they have going on. And then they're going to rush towards you. But the thing about it is, is in situations like this, if they'll do that to someone, um, I feel like just get, just get more research. Just get more details. Because something, a lot of times people say things about their significant others and people that they've been with for a while. Sometimes you just got to do a fact check. Okay, now this person wants to be more than friends with you, but you got to find out. I feel like the best thing to do is find out all the information that you can get on this person. Okay, all right, so that's the message that I got for you, Libras. 
All right, so if this message resonated with you, be sure to hit the thumbs up. If you're interested in booking a personal, the information to contact me for a personal is in the drop box below. As well as if you would like to purchase something off of my website, guys, I have a lot of goodies over there. You can get 20% off today using sale code SALE20 altogether um, at checkout. You get 20% off of your entire order. All right, until next time, guys, ciao for now.